Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial which is taking a very sort of um, minor look at how the Topaz Denoise AI program works as a plugin within Affinity Photo. Um, someone was asking on a Facebook group about whether it's best to sort of uh, use the Denoise program on the raw file before putting it into Affinity Photo or whether to use it on the JPEG after they'd processed the um, raw file. Now, now these are questions I personally can't answer as I've only just personally brought the Topaz Denoise AI program only a few weeks ago so I'm still in the process of learning how it works so this will just really be a sort of a gloss over look at using it as a plugin rather than a standalone program but just so you know that when you do, if you do buy it it will work as a standalone program and you you can have the shortcut on your desktop and you can open up denoise and the same goes for shot topaz sharpen as well um and you can then enter your raw files or JPEGs and use denoise on that. But I want to, like I said, I want to look at using it as a plugin. So I personally have already installed this as a plugin, but if you haven't yet, you can go to the Edit menu, Preferences, Photoshop plugins, and then you just need to click on the Add button and then you navigate to where you've installed the Denoise or Sharpen or even Topaz Studio 2 where you've installed any of those and then when you close this it will shut down Affinity Photo, restart it and your plugin should be installed into the filters menu I'm going to come down to plugins and Topaz Labs I've now got Sharpen and Denoise so that's a brief look at how you quickly install them as a plugin. Now this image here is an old one I took back in 2016, I think it was, of an area near where I live. And I set this I put this into Affinity Photo as a raw file. I've done a few alterations and adjustments to it and I've then developed it and brought it back into the photo persona. So if I zoom in and it's got down here 146% we're zooming in and I'm going to zoom into this area here. Now before I do that I want to just, I mean you wouldn't do this but I'm just doing this for comparison. If I right click on this layer and copy it and then come up to the file menu and new from clipboard it will give me a second version of that image so if I zoom in again to 146% bring this up to roughly the same area let's have a quick look see whether that's yeah, maybe a bit further over that way but it's roughly the same area so I'm going to work on this one and keep that one as a comparison of what it looked like before so most of the noise really is in these white columns coming down here the more noticeable noise anyway um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to filters and then plugins down to topaz and then denoise so we've just got to wait for it to open up the denoise plugin and it just does its thing and you can and like I said I've only had this a few weeks this program so I'm not going to alter any of these settings down the side here I'm only going to go with the basics of what I know at the moment but I can click on this box here and find that roughly the same area that I'm looking at previously and you just got to wait for it to resample that particular area I've also set this up to be comparison view so this is the original and then you have two, three different filters of varying degrees of denoising and this is the 
denoise AI, this is AI clear, and this is low light. And it's just a case of picking the one that you think looks best. It's a personal choice, and from my viewpoint looking at this, I think it's going to be between denoise and AI clear. Um, bam, 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 bam. I think I'll go with denoise AI. Just click on that to select it and then apply. I'll wait for the plugin to do its thing, uh, which takes a little while because there's a lot for it to do. And then it will return this back to Affinity Photo. So this is the version that has been altered and hopefully you can see that they are much cleaner, much nicer um, columns and if I go back to the first one and that is the one with much more noise in it I mean obviously this is magnified at 146% so I mean at 100% it would you know probably be less noticeable that it's been denoised but I hope you can tell you know just by that quick demonstration how well denoise helps to reduce the noise from that image I mean you could also then go one step further for example and then probably sharpen I'm not actually testing this image let's try sharpen just for the fun of it and close that and similarly I've only had this a few a couple of weeks so again this is the original as it was and there's probably not a lot of difference really between I mean stabilize is probably you've got, so you've got sharpen focus and stabilize let's try stabilize click apply and again you just got to wait for it to do its thing um, which obviously would again will take a little you know 30 seconds or something like that And again, return us back to Affinity Photo. So this has now been denoised and sharpened using the plugins. So that was the original. So obviously very noisy and probably not too sharp there. And there we have a much better, cleaner, sharper image. So let me just do Control and Zero to bring that one out. Same goes for that one. I mean, from that distance, it's probably you probably wouldn't notice a great deal of difference between those two images. But let's zoom in to 100%, which is what it would actually look like when printed. Try that one there. Bring that one to 100%. So, hopefully, you can tell that's the original so much more noisier and not as sharp and that is the much crisper looking and less noisy version so really that is it basically just looking at mainly looking at the denoise program but I've just sort of tacked in a bit about the sharpen as well so hopefully when I learn a bit more about these, both of those programs or plugins I should call them um, I can learn how to get even better results. So hopefully this has been of some help to anybody who's thinking about buying either of those Topaz uh, plugins. So thank you for watching and goodbye.